What's up, everybody? This is your man, Mr. No Edit, and this is my new show, The Mr. No Edit Show. Mr. No Edit Show! Now, bringing out tonight, we have very special guests, starting with my man, Floyd, from the, <laughs> from the Mad Dancers. Come on in, brother. Got a seat for you right here. Good to see you. Good to see you, brother. All right, all right. All right. And my man, Visco Joe, also from the Mad Dance. Sir. All right, thanks for coming here today. All right. Now, again, this is no editing, so we don't make mistakes. We keep it perfect. So, the question I want to start with is, Floyd. Oh, <laughs> Is how did the Mad Dancers get the name Mad Dancers? Well, the Mad Dancers got the name um, because it was a DJ who called himself Doc Mad. And um, he'll be spinning at the NEC Sub in the parties all the time. And when we come there, we'd be dancing, jumping around. We'd be, every, every party he done, we'd be there doing crazy stuff. And people always be like, who's them guys doing all that jumping around and doing stuff like they're doing exercise? And he just said, you know what? He started getting on the mic. Those my mad dancers right there. I'm Doc Mad, and they're my mad dancers. And, and at the time, who was part of the Mad Dancers besides yourself? When we first got going, it was um, O.C., Dub, Frank, and me. And Al Woods would pop in, in and out, and dance with us sometimes. Okay. And uh, then Chuck came in later on. And then the first talent show we did at Kettering, uh, Cos was, was, was going to school there. And he would be peeking be peeking behind the curtain and pulling me in the back, saying, "Can I get in that group? Can I get in that group with y'all?" And I asked him, "You know how to dance?" Little did I know. But he was like, "Yeah, I can dance." God's caught on the step real quick. Okay. And you know, then he stopped getting down with us, and that's how I went down. Yeah. So, what year would you say Mad Dancers uh, received that name? I would say. We, we started dancing around the late 70, uh, 79. When it started getting into 80, 81, that's when we was like known as the Mad Dancers. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, now, Visco Joe, we all know you as a Mad Dancer, you, Cos. So, what generation were you and how did you get to the group? Okay, uh, well, I'm the baby uh, of, of Mad, but um, first generation, second generation, you had, you know, Terrence, Cos, George, Fuzz, Pops, AJ, Tay Tay. You know, this goes on. And then, uh, like I say, after they did their thing towards the late part of the 80s, when I made Cosmo, and uh, Doc Mock, uh, Crazy Jane, even Lil Emanuel, you know. He, Chewy. Yeah, Chewy. Jermaine Savage. Uh, Jermaine Savage. <coughs> so when I met them, we kept it rolling. After the second generation, third generation, that's when I came in. You know, like, well, 88, 89, mainly 89 when I started getting rolling with it. You know, Cosmo kind of, you know, we kept it rolling with him. And uh, we just went on from there. Just just kept... Uh, yeah, Cosmo was in all yeah. three groups. Yeah. The first oh, group was right. us. Right. The second group. And the third. The third group. Wow. Right. Wow. Right. So, <laughs> and so, so, he just right. kept it going. Because so he, he, yeah, he, he asked us, there. he said, right. do you mind if I keep... Because we had started chilling out. Mm -hmm. We figured we were just going through yeah, a phase right. or something. And he no. said, you mind if I keep the name rolling? Yeah, he kept He's it like, rolling. yeah, because we had our name registered and everything. Oh, He's yeah. like, yeah, keep it rolling. He kept it rolling. Now, now, real, it. now real quick, Mad Dancers were known for throwing parties. No, we was known for dancing. But we started throwing parties. How'd that happen? Well, when all, these oh, other, oh, all, these other, that happen? all these other groups started coming out. The Fugees, HBO, Snobby Snob. The pretty girls, <laughs> yeah, all that stuff. And when those groups came out, they all was throwing parties at the Trans Am Club on Van Dyke. It's a church now, and so everybody was throwing those parties. But the YZL was the most powerful girl group. They were powerful, you know. They can draw people in. So we 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 hooked up with them. I said he 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 heard that. We hooked up with them, and we started you know getting it in. I wish I I wish I had had her here. Uh, one of the wise you know, you know, you know Oh yeah, she was. She was talking. Well, there you go, folks. We're yeah. gonna make that happen. That's for right. You. And we can't forget about Freaky Will and Lil Henry. 
Yeah, they was they Freaky were part third third generation. Yeah, was mad. Yes, exactly. And yeah. then they Dream, went yeah. to Dream Team. Yeah. Dream Team evolved from 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 mad. Exactly. Yeah. You exactly. ain't that. You ain't that. So the whole party scene seems to be in the bloodline because now you also part of a party that's coming up March fifth. Now we want to give a couple of shout outs to some groups. And also we have uh, Keith here from Unstoppables. Come on out here, Keith. Yeah. What's going on? We all we all yes, know sir. Keith Gales. Keith, I'll let you take my place right here. I'm gonna take ease on off to the take side me. here. Oh, and just let y'all fellas, you know, just give some shout outs to some groups yeah. who y'all might want to see in the building or who would who've been impressing you or well, whatever. It's March 5th. The ultimate dress to sweat. It's going down at the Ritz. Of course, we're going to have the Mad Dancers in the building. Yeah. Of course, you're going to have the Dream Team in the building. Right. Al Canada's right. giving the party. I also want to say, this is an East Side, West Side collab ball. East Side, West Side. We got to give Not shouts it. out. We got to give shouts out to Death Squad, Chasing the Bass, Main Great, Disco, all the West Side cats. It's going down hard. It's going to be an East Side, West Side collab. Right. Of course, you're going to have the East Side groups in the building. No doubt. It's going down. Dig that. Get it in. Dig. March 5th. Oh, the yeah. Ritz. Right. That's Unstoppable it. Unstoppable in the building. You feel me? Yes. Yeah. Going to be getting that new <laughs> Man.